Um, we'll start by saying uh, congratulations on uh, getting into the general election. You had 51,000 votes and about 20.8% uh, of those votes. How are you feeling right now with getting into the general? I'm super duper excited. <laughs> um, it was, we worked really hard. It was difficult to put together a campaign because, you know, we'd never done it before. And, um, you know, everybody told me, don't run. Steve Alm um, is going to take 50% plus one in the primary and you will be outnumbered and outnamed and out fundraised. And uh, I worked off, you know, we, we worked really, really hard and I think it's paid off and I'm super excited and I, I'm going to work even harder to go through the general. There were quite a bit of, um, you know, very qualified candidates and obviously it is now between Steve Alm and you. What moving ahead do you think you need to do to secure the office in November? We actually have a plan going, um, going forward and we need to see how COVID is going to affect it though. So mm -hmm. that's a big concern for me because Steve Alm could, you know, just sit back and wait and basically do nothing. And, you know, I've got to run a thousand miles an hour. So that really is going to affect us. But we do have a plan going forward. We have a very grassroots campaign and we're just going to talk to as many people as we possibly can. Now, looking ahead, what do you think are the key issues that you really want to tackle and that you feel would be important to the people of Oahu? You know, I've been uh, very consistent with my objectives. And the first thing is going to be getting rid of the people that helped Catherine Kealoha. And because I am the only candidate that was actively involved with assisting the federal government in investigating Catherine Kealoha and Keith Kaneshiro, I'm very familiar with who did what and what, why they did it. The second thing that I'm going to do is start charging. We're going to enforce the law. We're, we're going to start charging all types of crimes from low level crimes to high level crimes. And why it matters is because the majority of victims are property crime victims and we need to treat we need to get defendants in early you know while they're committing property crimes instead of moving up to violent crimes because that's really what happens they continuously commit low-level property crimes and we have to stop the criminal activity at that point and i'm the only candidate that's taken this position all right um great any closing thoughts that you wanted to say before we wrap things up on this evening no, I'm just, I'm very excited. I'm very happy to see the voter turnout. I'm very happy to see the numbers. You know, that means people care about Honolulu and that's why I ran because I really do love Honolulu. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Megan, for your time and um, best wishes to you and your campaign. Thanks for talking with us this evening. Thank you for having me. Good night.